Dr. Jenny Law joins us now at ASCO 2014 to discuss head and neck cancer. She is from the UT Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So you presented a poster today. Why don't you give us an overview of that? So we presented a poster that looked at HPV positive head and neck cancers to see what their pattern of distant metastases were. We compared those to HPV negative and HPV unknown um, based on anatomic location. We found that HPV positive head and neck cancers had a statistically significant increased rate of distant metastases to the lung compared to HPV negative or unknown tumors. Any other key takeaways you'd like to share? Uh, we saw that there was an increased uh, incidence of smokers in the HPV positive group that did have a higher rate of metastases to the lung itself. Okay. What would you do next in this line of research? Well, it'd be nice for us to tease out a little bit, you know, what's contributing to why these HPV positive tumors may be recurring more to the lung compared to HPV negative or unknown. So maybe looking at treatment differences and uh, looking at pack year history uh, to see whether or not higher pa patients with higher pack year history, uh, whether or not their smoking use negated the H benefits of HPV positivity, and perhaps that's why they had increased re rate of distant metastases to the lung. How has the response been from your colleagues here? Oh, it seems like it's been very positive. It's nice to come to ASCO and um, interact with other practitioners and you know all that work you've put in over the months. It's well received and people are very energized by what, you, by what you're presenting. So it's Good been for you. a nice, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks very for sharing much. with us. Thank you.